Hi readers, it's Mrs. Jerkins. So last night I was in my bed and I was rereading my story, uh, The Alien Next Door, and I was noticing all of those places where the author is really using masterful and powerful writing. And I noticed the places where I was laughing out loud or feeling sad or <gasps> gasping, right? Um, but I got to the end and I just let out this big sigh, <sighs> right? Because I thought, wow, that author did a really good job putting all of these little different pieces together to make the ending just perfect. It's like they made it just click together to make the story just perfect. And so we have to realize that authors aren't just working really hard on these little spots here and there to make their writing masterful and powerful. They're also thinking along the way, how are they gonna make all these little parts fit together to make the story come together and really click at the ending? So I had a request for a new sound um, for our lesson for the day. So instead of the excited trumpets, we're going to try a magic wand sound today for our lesson. So here is our lesson for today. <laughs> and that's that readers get to the end of the story and they will reread and they will think, how did the author make all of those parts click together to make the story perfect? So that's what we're going to work on today. Let me show you inside our book. All right, readers, we know that authors have intentions, so that we, means we're trying to pay attention. So we've been noticing and stopping and thinking about what parts are powerful, why they're powerful, and how the author did it. And today what we're going to do is when we get to the end, we're going to ask, how did the author make this whole book click together? So what did the author do to really make this a powerful ending? So remember, if you haven't read Dragons Love Tacos, you can always go and check out the video in your Google Classroom. So let's look at the end. There it is. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Too late. Here they're all standing around with the burnt down house. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. So now I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna think, how did the author make the whole book click together? right? Because we know that authors don't just write any old words. They really pick powerful, important parts to write. And especially at the end, they know they have to make that book really click together to make people feel like they love that book. Well, I see the front of the book says, Dragons Love Tacos. And those are the last three words in this book. Dragons love tacos. So that's definitely a way that this author made this book click together. So I'm going to look and hunt for where she put, or he, I'm sorry, Adam Rubin, where he put all of those dragons love tacos. Did you know that dragons love tacos? So there's one. Why do dragons love tacos? Hey, dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? As much as dragons love tacos. Let's see. This is all about they hate spicy salsa. But down here, these are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Here he's feeling about that spicy salsa. Let's see, here's they like parties. 
The only thing they love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. So now we're talking about how they love tacos. Dragons love tacos. Bury the salsa. They love the tacos. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy. Wait a minute. Don't eat those tacos. I know you love tacos, dragons. <sighs> Maybe they're in it for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. So Adam Rubin really did an excellent job really making sure that this theme, the dragons love tacos, was carried across the whole book. And he even made sure that he could end with, after all, and there's the title again. So when you finish your reading today or any day, you really want to stop and you want to think about that author and how hard they worked on the ending and what did they do to make that ending really powerful and how does that make the whole book click together. All right, have fun reading today. Bye.